Uh, here to talk more about GDP and other economic data is Diana Furtscott Roth, former acting secretary for economic policy at the Treasury Department and current adjunct professor of economics at George Washington University. Uh, and Diana, before we saw the claims number, you thought maybe 820 uh, down from 861, so that's stronger. And you were already saying uh, that the numbers we're seeing show that the economy is not fragile and you're worried about inflation, which uh, Steve just referenced. Right. Things are very strong. And if we need to look to, the, we, we're looking to the future, we should always look to the future. As things open up, things are going to get stronger because those retail sales numbers are going to go up as people can go out shopping, as people can go to restaurants, as people can go out to bars and movie theaters. You know, they're going to, I was speaking to one young person last weekend. She said, I just want to go to Madison Square Garden and stand in a throng of thousands and be there for 24 hours. People yeah. really want to get out. And that's going to drive the economy also. That Legion hospitality sector that's low right now, that's going to drive up. I think you're right. Any, everyone I talk to really suddenly appreciates just the, the littlest things in life about whether it's a restaurant or whatever it is. And I think you're... I don't know how long it, it lasts, whether there's an initial bump, but it, it certainly is a feeling that, that uh, we all have right now. So you think the economy is growing at what actual rate do you think right now, Diana? Uh, I would say maybe 6 or 7% for this quarter. And then for the year as a whole, Mickey Levy at Berenberg Capital has estimated around 6.1% for the year for 2021. He's usually been on target before. He's a little concerned about inflation, though, as am I. He thinks it's going to be around 2.5%, which is kind of above where the Fed's target rate is. And I think the Fed should be paying more attention to inflation coming up, coming down the pipe. When I see uh, Janet Yellen, I always have to, I keep having to remind myself that, all right, this isn't the Fed speaking anymore. You're, I don't know, now you're, you're like a politician almost. But if she was at the Fed, do you think she'd be saying, just go big, go big, go big? Or, or is it time to really start looking at, at the benefit we get from this and the negatives to, to doing this in what might be a, 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 an economy that's going to heat up pretty quickly once we reopen? Well, you know, when she was at the Fed, she was always concerned about employment. Her background is as a labor economist. And quite rightly, she's concerned about people who don't get jobs. And I think that that's also, you can see that now in her role as Treasury Secretary. So I think we need to be really concerned about measures in the stimulus package that might reduce jobs for low-wage workers, such as this $15 an hour proposed minimum wage, which is really going to hit those leisure and hospitality workers just as employers want to get them back on the job. It's going to encourage employers to substitute capital for these workers they're the ones who are really hurting right now, and we need to be aware of how we can best get them back. So in your view, would you have a stimulus bill this large at this point? And do you think that, that, that I mean, we have oil suddenly is, is at much higher levels and commodity inflation. Do you think eventually there's wage inflation that, that gets the, the spiral actually going at some point? Well, de definitely, especially with the $15 an hour minimum wage, because people who are now paid $15 are going to want to be paid more. Uh, so I think we, uh, we definitely need to be watching that. We need to be watching a potential spiral. Uh, and I would suggest something around the order of $600 billion for a stimulus package, because we do need to help those who need help. We just don't need $1.9 trillion, especially since we have not spent what was allocated last year. We haven't spent uh, the amount in the CARES Act and the Consolidated Appropriations Act. We still have funds left over from those. Very good, uh, Diane. I'm just looking at... Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.